threaten that some of the British wildlife segues perfectly into this campaign, doesn't it? Because it's a hundred days throughout the course of the summer with very well proposed and laid out suggestions of where you should go and what you should see. Absolutely. So the idea is to have one uh, suggestion from itinerary for every day between mid-May and mid-August, um, 100 days off summer, and every day has a child friendliness rating. So I see lots of kids in the audience here today. How did you come up with your child friendliness rating? I had the best advisor possible, my six-year-old daughter, Maya. <laughs> okay. If she liked it, it got okay. five stars. If she hated it, well, it probably didn't make the book. Okay, I'm looking here for today. This is June the 17th. You've got musky frogs. Mm. Musky frogs, frog orchids. Mm. Uh, where are you going to find those? I know that's... Is that Nor Hill? It's not too far away from you, yeah. Yeah, that's right, in Hampshire. Yeah, Chalk Down. Chalk Down. So that would be your suggestion for June the 17th. It would. I mean, we've got a really strange attitude as human beings to chalk. Um, we love it because of you know, prehistoric burial mounds, but we also exploited it. Uh, and so this day is exploring the kind of botany that has colonised these wonderful downs. And these are fantastic, of course. You've got to get down quite low, low to see those, unfortunately. I mean, they're about... Ooh, about this, half, is mus mus this is musk orchid, about half the size of your little finger. Yeah. So I reckon an outside perspective is the best. But once you've got down, you've seen them. Then you're tempted to find out about them and the life histories of these plants are extraordinary. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Okay, I'm going to move on. Okay, what about this one here? This is June the 19th. Manxi and Thrifty. I'm thinking Manxia Water and Thrift. Uh, or Thrift Clearwing, uh, a moth that mimics, tiny little moth that mimics. Uh, moth. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but Manxia Waters, um, Barnsley Island is amazing. Manxia Waters, they kind of burrow underground. Uh, and they kind of call with this amazing... We can hear it. We can hear it. Let's have a listen. <laughs> but they call at night, don't they? But also during the day. So when I took that picture you just saw just then, yeah. I was sat there and I thought, what on earth is that? And had I been a Norse sailor um, coming into the Scottish Islands quite a while ago, a couple of thousand years ago, I thought it was a troll. <laughs> but it's a Manx Shearwater. A Manx Shearwater indeed. I'm going to move on to number three here. This is later in the year, July the 17th, and you've got Not So Dinky Minky, and as, I've got an insect here, George. Are you feeling hungry? It's, it's, a, it's a, an ichneumonid wasp or something, it is, isn't it? Is. It? Come on, come on. It is. Oh, come on, come on, get it, George. <laughs> That's where's your pooter? Absolutely. Yeah, do. <laughs> okay, George is going to sort that out. You're going to tell us about minkies, and this would be off of Western Scotland? Well, it depends. Actually, no, not in this particular case. So, seaside, uh, summer, summer holidays, um, our seas are full of really great, huge, as in great, gargantuan things. So, minky whales in the North Sea, see them off North Yorkshire, off Basking North Holland, sharks. basking sharks off the Inner Hebrides, harbour porpoise off the southwest of England. There's so much in our seas, and all you need to do is take a boat trip to go and see it. And then I'm going to jump forward to this one, because this is uh, very pertinent indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got August the 2nd for the British Lions, yeah. here at Minsmere, indeed. with George's ant lion, of course. It is indeed. So, I mean, the Maasai Mara, you know, great predators, but I reckon that ant lion is one of the best predators we've got in Britain. Absolutely love it. The story behind it's remarkable. Is yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're just amazing creatures. I rather prefer the... But this is the adult. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the adult. Because this yeah. this I, prefer, is the, I prefer the larvae. But, oh, yeah. 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 Well, they can be very dainty, very weakly flighted, like a little damselfly that yeah. flutters yeah, like that. Very cute, unlike the larvae. The yeah. best place to see them is by the visitor centre here. Is it? Yeah. Top tip. So I've never seen that in August and come and see that. Okay, everyone back in August to see that. <laughs> okay, Adam. Into the, near the visitor centre, the minute you've seen the outline, straight into the cafe, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> in for the cake. James, you've got to rise to the art challenge. What have you come up with? Let's have well, a look. Look, first things first. Uh, it sounds like an excuse on its way. Precisely. <laughs> um, passing my GCSE art uh, um, exam was the greatest academic achievement of my life. <laughs> so just to, just to warn you, set the kind of level. Secondly, I've only used materials that I would do with my daughter at our kitchen table. So it's black felt tip and wishy washy pan. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay. With an iconic species for Minsmere. Passing over so I can show everyone. Here we are. It's an iconic species. We can recognise this here. <laughs> Brilliant shell duck, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, uh, when you said that you were using materials at the kitchen table that your six year old was done, I wasn't expecting you to mimic the skills of a six year old. To be oh, 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 I know, I know, very cool. I'm going to stick that one down level with the shell duck that we've got here. Yeah, yeah, it's down the bottom there. So this means, of course, yes. 
that Wolfgang here, oh, wait, let's have the original, let's have the original. We suspected it would win, I'm gonna put it up the way. Oh no, it's not this way here. <laughs> that Wolfgang and Martin are the winners of our Drawn to be Wild. <laughs> I'd frame it. I'd frame it and put it on the wall. I, I will frame it and put it on the wall. I'm, I'm going to take it away with me as an original, fantastic stuff. Okay. Well done to Wolfgang. I've got to say I'm a bit worried about this next bit because this is my picture of the day. Oh, okay, yeah, so day. back on the 2nd of June, I showed you this picture of a mouse in silhouette, which you gave a nine to, which I was astounded by. And I thought, challenge myself, I'm going to try and beat it. So okay. then I showed you this snake which got 8.1 out of you, but it's not so close. more than a nine. So here is my final try. Okay. Here it is. It's the European Woodlass Reflection. Woodlass Reflection. Now, we see a lot of reflections. Reflection pools became very popular in photography. We saw reflections of everything. We're in woodpeckers, bathing spa.